this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. hauling bales yet? Oh, I wish we had two 4020s though. Uh... <laughs> He's kidding, he wishes he had two 5020s. <laughs> We've got a... Uh, the old battery is fucked and I grabbed a new one, put the charger on it, and apparently uh, the two amp charge doesn't work anymore on the charger, so I brought another dead battery today, so that was handy. Couple minutes at the boosters here, it'll be fine. But anyway, we'll get her here. Not a problem. <laughs> it's almost like it's got a new again engine. And injection pump and injectors. Right. <laughs> hey guys, how's she going today? <clears throat> well, me and dad are moving bales again. We have been for the last. Oh, three days now, or this will be day three, I guess. We took one day off in between there. Day before yesterday when we went and got that loader. But uh, these are those hay bales there, a thousand hay bales that he uh, lined up for custom hauling. So I'm just helping him by moving the truck around in the field for him here. From place to place so he doesn't have to drive as far with the tractor that way so move a little bit here for him anyway but these are uh, full-size hay bales alfalfa they're about they'd be 1600 pounds so they're a pretty good load on the truck when you get uh, 20 of them on there so but, Dad's just having a gay old time there, this 4020, so. <laughs> anyway, it's really nice out here the last few days. Well, actually, really ever since we uh, started hauling, it's uh, well above zero. It's uh, actually trying to rain out mist spit kind of a deal so it'd be uh i don't know plus five or six anyways probably without the wind there's hardly a breeze here today so it's uh pretty nice out really so there's no need for, really for Trading, trading them out when he's loading. It doesn't take him more than 10 minutes to get a load on the trailer here. Well, maybe a little more than 10. 15 minutes to do a load. And then uh, drive back and unload. We're about 50 minutes to drive out here, get a load, drive back and unload. So not so bad, but a six or seven mile round trip. So that eats up a bit of time there just driving back and forth like that but minor details so anyway I guess I'll talk to you again here in a little while it's starting to get real foggy here so I'm not sure if we're gonna keep going or not and we got a little bit of a drive on the big roads like that have someone come up and fucking smoke us wouldn't be very cool so or uh, worse yet, for some reason lose a bale 
just because and then uh, wouldn't be able to see it on the road like you can see and hardly see the phone poles over there already so but whatever wait for it to clear up we got a lot of other things to work on at the shop there dad's got some other projects lined up for one of the neighbors again so Another project on the list we're gonna probably rebuild the hydraulic pump on this old girl you can tell uh, they're not as strong as they should be dealing with these big heavy bales so the 4020 has got a hydraulic pump from a 4430 on it so it uh, it throws them around like nothing but you can see the old girl here trying to curl them back it's pretty slow the other thing too I was going to show a few you wanted to see there on the old 4020 asking about the front axle how we can carry two at a time and have never stopped a spindle on it it's a kit that grandpa bought for it in the late 70s very very early 80s like more uh, probably the early 70s or late 70s it is a front axle off a case 1370 and it's a whole kit there's a big plate you put underneath and then that front axle you can still get that kit but now they offer it instead of the uh, 1370 axles like that it's the front axle off a 4455 so uh, that's why it looks a little different and uh, can do can do what it can do without having any issues so that's uh, one good thing about those old case tractors they had a hell of a nice heavy front end on them 1270, 1370, and 1570s. They all use the same front axle, that nice big heavy front with big heavy spindles. So, so you can see they're trying to curl them off the trailer. She's kind of kind of sluggish. But still, there's two 1600 pound bales there. So. Anyway, I guess I thought I'd tell you a little story and if we do keep hauling here I'll try and do a real quick look at the front of the 4020 for you. Well hey guys, how's she going a couple days later from the first part? <laughs> Well, we're finally uh, oh, back out here moving bales again. We shut her down because of the fog the other day and then yesterday was foggy in the morning so we just worked in the shop on that Dodge truck and a few other quick little projects. But now we're back out here and giving it again so hopefully if all goes good, we'll have a couple hundred bales moved again today. But you can see looking across, looks like there's fog trying to fucking roll in again. So we are not hauling in the fog because we're over width for one. And then uh, whenever you take a left hand turn, you can't see if there's someone coming up behind or trying to pass you and it's also a hunting season here right now so you've got every yahoo from the city that's ever been out driving around like they think they own the place so just to save ourselves from getting t-boned we're not doing it in the fog Absolutely beautiful out right now. Like, 
plus four or five and just a slight little breeze like unreal nice so that's why it would be nice if we could just keep hauling bales it's been like this all along but of course the uh, fog and everything wasn't gonna let us keep hauling that's just par for the course but oh well whatever anyway get her loaded up here and we'll talk to you again in a little bit
righty. Go get one more load before it's dark out. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> anyway, we're back out in the field here. And we got a few days of picking yet. Bales as far as the eye can see. But uh, I'm just gonna kind of park in the middle of the swarm here. And then wait for Dad to uh, bring the bales to the truck. Oh, girl. There we go. <laughs> Wait for Dad to bring the bales to the truck here to make another load, but... Anyway, it's a lot brighter looking on the camera than it is. It's 20 after 5 and by 6 o'clock here it's totally black. The sun's gone over there, but... We're about half done. It's a full section, and they left about 150 acres over there. Why, I'll never understand, but that's their own business. They uh, figured it had been rained on too much, so new stand, hey, yeah, just leave the swaths there. Don't understand that. I'm gonna have dead strips there come next year, and I mean, fuck, bail it. Use it up, use it for bedding then. The cows will pick through what's good. Whatever, not mine, not my business, so. Anyway, you can see how many are left, but we're gonna do another load of 20. That'll be 180 bales today. So, a few more days like that and we'll be done. <laughs> anyway, I guess. Thank you much for watching and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. Leave a comment. Follow me on the old Facebook and the Instagram. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one.